Welcome, to the Corp Vault channel. In this video we will discuss, how to deal with, backup throughput issues. Please, like, share, comment or suggest. Subscribe for more videos, and, you can follow us on Instagram. What we will be discussing in this video, is general, and should be applicable for most of the backup tools, but for this video, we will be using Convault. We will be taking into account, that you are aware of the backup tool Convault, and how it works. To deal with backup throughput issue, and to find out where the bottleneck is, it is important to know, the phase of the backup, where you experience the issue. Before you proceed with any troubleshooting, it is always recommended, to perform basic checks. Most of the times, these basic checks could help pinpoint, or provide enough information to resolve the issue. Comserve holds the configuration information. Let us see, what the basic checks are. In the Comcell browser, expand client computer. Right click on the client computer, which is reporting throughput issue. Select properties. Client computer properties. General tab. Host name. Convault uses fully qualified domain name, FQDN, to communicate with the client. Ensure the entry is correct. Ensure the name resolves to correct IP, and IP resolves to correct name. This to ensure, the backup data is routed via right interface, so it can complete faster. Version tab. Always ensure, the Convault version installed on the client match with version installed on the Comserve. If you see the difference, then first update the backup software packages, and then continue troubleshooting, if the issue continue to persist. Also, if there are multiple NICs on the client computer, then verify, if the resolved IP is correct backup IP, and data is not transferred via production IP, or other interface. Let us check the places, where usually people do mistakes. Click Advanced. Job Configuration tab. Improper data interface pair added, will lead the backup traffic route via different interface. Launch DNS Server. Expand Forward Lookup Zone. Expand Subdomain. Verify, if a single client name has multiple DNS entries, with different IPs. If yes. Then cross check, confirm, and then delete the incorrect entry. The last place to check is the host file entries. If you are using host file entries, instead of DNS, then check the host file entries on Comserve, Media Agent, and the client machine, and then cross check, confirm, and then delete the incorrect entry. If you see scan is taking too long, then it is not related to throughput. You should look at file scan log, and check for the reason. You might as well look for number of files to be backup, if too many files, especially small files, then the scan would take long time to complete. The communication between Comserve, and client or media agent, is kind of handshake, as no real backup data transferred to Comserve. If you see the backup phase is taking long time to complete, then it is related to throughput issue. During the backup phase, the data is transferred from client to media agent. Let's discuss the contributing factors, for throughput issues. Antivirus software, example, Trend Micro, McAfee, etc. On the Comserve, media agent, and client computers. If you see antivirus software is installed, then ensure all Comvault related directories or files are excluded from scan, especially real-time scan. The locations would be Convault install directory, index cache location, DDB location, disk library location, etc. Convault documentation link is provided in the video description, for recommended antivirus exclusions for Windows, Unix, and Macintosh. The next thing to check is Windows Firewall. If Windows Firewall cannot be disabled, or stopped, then ensure all Comvault processes are added to the firewall. 
Launch Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. Click on Inbound Rules. Cross check and verify if all Convault processes are listed here. There are scenarios where, despite the entries exist, they do not work properly. In such scenarios, delete all the entries listed here. Stop all Convault services. Open command prompt in admin mode. Browse to Convault installation, base directory. Run, add FW exclusions batch file. Start Convault services. Let us discuss the logs to look into. Right click on the client, view, log files. Select the log file to open window. Use this window to browse and select the log file to open for analysis. In the older version of Convault, CVD log contained the needed information, but in version 11, they have changed it. Look for performance metrics log file. Select the log file, and click open. CVD log still contains valuable information. Scan and look for entries related to disk read. If you look at this section, you will see process name, process ID, memory usage and other useful information. Using this information you need to analyze, the throughput issue is because of, disk issue, network issue, resource issue, etc. Let's take an example, cvd.exe process. The read count is 20148, and the read size which is in bytes, when converted, it would be 25 megabytes. Using these values you need to determine, if the system is performing well, or if there is issue with disk. This shows network related information. You have similar information captured, throughout the job. If you know a particular window, when the throughput issue is seen, you can scan the logs for that time window, and check how the backup, or system performed. In Convault version 11, you also get job specific performance analytics. Let's get a job ID for a client. Note down the job ID. Right click on the Comserve, View, Log Files. From select the log file to open, look for the performance metric log, with the job ID that we noted down. Select relevant log, and click open. As per Convault, this is the performance analytics for the selected job. We have job duration, data write time, throughput in GB per hour, and stream count. It seems, streams with duration less than 10 minutes are not analyzed. These are Convault recommendations for the job. The tool could not find any recommendation for this job stream. On a given server, for disk related issues, that is, slow read or writes, we would recommend to check for delays, or response times. Launch Task Manager. Select, Performance tab. Open Resource Monitor. Select, Disk tab. Expand Disk Activity. The last column is response time in milliseconds. If you see this value is high, then the disk is underperforming, and needs to be checked. Look for the process, or image which is receiving those high response time. If the process is related to backup, you see the reason for throughput issue. If it is storage LUN, then storage team need to check, the reasons for high response time. If it is a physical disk. Then you have Microsoft tools to check for disk performance. So far we have covered these topics. Let us discuss about the network. For LAN connectivity, you need to record, the link speeds for Comserve, Media Agent, and Client Computer. If the link speed is 1 Gbps, you know it is too low, so you have to find out, how much bandwidth is already in use and what is available for backup traffic. If the link speed is 10 Gbps, then also record, how much bandwidth is already in use, and what is available for backup traffic. If network seems to be bottleneck, then try to dive deep, into network architecture. 
find out if there is switch in between, and if there are any packet drops on the switch. What is the switch port speed, find out the port speeds end to end. There have been cases where multiple switches in the network, and they had varied port speed, this mean, the traffic is good till one end of the switch, but when it's out, it's slow, because the switch does not support, or not configured for optimal usage. For managed service, you might as well look into, VLAN configuration, that is, if right VLAN is being used, for routing backup traffic. Troubleshooting throughput issues is challenging, so try to narrow down, by eliminating what we discussed. We will end this video here. Do subscribe to our channel for more videos, if not already done so. Do subscribe for more videos.